What's going on everybody? Nick from Six Night Fishing here. I've had a lot of trouble catching fish lately. The bite's been really slow, it's late fall. So I figured, hey, you, why not try to make it tougher on yourself? So I'm down here at the pond and I'm gonna try to catch a bass using this giant combo. It's a huge bait casting reel that I usually use for catching sharks on the beach. And I kayak my baits out. I've never actually casted it. And my rod is this giant boat rod that is rated for 50 to 100 pound mono. So it should be, uh, should be pretty interesting. The technique I'm gonna start off with is, uh, I'm gonna try out a swim jig. I'm gonna use this because I'm not too sure about the casting ability of the rod. I'm gonna flip this into some cover and hopefully there's gonna be some bass lurking in there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, that first cast was a big old fail. Okay, let's try a regular cast. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be tough. Holy smokes. It took so much force to stop that spool. There we go, that's some distance. <laughs> no accuracy, but at least I got some distance. I've got about 27 pounds of drag and around 900 yards of braid, 80 pound braid. So I should be good with uh, some of these larger fish in the pond. Oh, I got something boys. Look at the size of this thing. Holy smokes. Ah, geez. It's a wild one. Okay guys, so I'm not having any luck. I've been out here for a couple hours now and I'm gonna keep the jig on, but I'm switching up my trailer to a uh, yum crawl poppy. So it's gonna have a little bit of a different action. Maybe that's what the bass are looking for and hopefully I'll be able to catch one. So no luck with the jig, even though I switched up the trailer, I still didn't have any uh, bites. So I am switching up to a chatterbait. Dang it. I am struggling to cast this chatterbait 20 feet. So <laughs> I am uh, gonna take some more drastic measures to get a little bit more distance. <laughs> that actually worked. <laughs> no way. Hey guys, I am, uh, I'm out of sunlight. The sun just went down. It is 425. Still have not gotten a bite. Although, some good news, I finally am starting to figure out how to cast this thing. And by cast it, I mean lob my bait about 30 feet, but <laughs> it's a uh, progress nonetheless. I'm gonna continue this challenge a different day and hopefully I'm gonna be able to complete it. So stay tuned for that guys. It's the very next morning. I've got about an hour or less actually to fish. So I thought I'd whip out this big old rod and reel again. See if I can't hook into one of these bass before I have to leave. Pretty good cast. 
Holy smokes. That was a pretty big blow up. Holy cow. Top water question mark? I don't know. I am highly tempted. <laughs> I don't know what I put on here though. I think I'm gonna try some top water. It's, I just can't hold back anymore. <laughs> Getting pretty dark out here, guys. Looks like it might be a thunderstorm or something, or heavier rain. Come on, Viv, before it rains. Give it one more cast, then I gotta get inside. My cameras are not waterproof. Okay. Don't you hate it when you get a bird's nest at the worst possible time? Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Play it a little slower here. This tree. Ah, nothing. All right. I gotta go seek some shelter. Yesterday, I came out here in the morning and fished for a couple hours with that giant combo. Didn't have any luck, but it was quite a bit warmer yesterday. Today is, feels like the coldest day of the year so far. So that might hurt my fishing chances, but it is windy. Today, I think I'm gonna try out a chatterbait. I was gonna do a spinnerbait, but I figured the water's kind of muddy, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try out a chatterbait. A little more confident with that. Ah. Yes! <laughs> First cast at this spot. Oh man. Almost was about to pull it out of the water and this dude just crushed it. Oh! Ah. Huge rod and reel challenge completed. And it was, uh, it was not easy at all. Check out this fish though. What a beautiful fish. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Go ahead and let him go. Oh, see you later, buddy. Whew. Okay, I hope you guys can hear me. It's pretty windy right now, but challenge completed. And I could not be any more excited. I honestly was getting a little worried there because it's, uh, like I said, today's about the chilliest day of the year. So I figured fishing would be extremely slow, but man, I am surprised. I was actually able to catch a decent fish and Overall, this challenge has been pretty fun. I got to use this combo that I really only get to use once or twice a year, and learning how to cast it was pretty interesting. I actually never thought that I would actually be able to cast this thing, but just took a little learning, and I was getting about 30 or 40 feet, which actually led to what caught that fish, because before, I was just using a bottom jig and just crawling it along some key pieces of structure. Because I was able to get that cast, I was started to use the chatterbait, and that proved to be successful. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. I'll catch you in the next one.